Hello, and welcome to Elias Shoes. This is the Shoe Cabinet TV, and this is episode number five. So over the last couple of weeks, I've had a lot of guests come into the store and a lot of questions about socks. So I thought I would take this opportunity and kind of explain some of the importance of wearing proper socks in preventing blisters, in preventing um, some things that go wrong with your feet, such as athlete's foot, and to help with some things that you do want, which is proper circulation. So I'm gonna start with compression socks. So we have a whole bunch of compression socks and each one has a purpose for certain reasons. When you're flying, you've been told you need to wear a compression sock. Great, but not every compression sock is equal. So I'm gonna show you some, this is a regular co compression sock, this is made by Sockwell, but some of the important things that you need to look for when looking for a compression sock, especially for traveling. You want something, I'm gonna open it up, that says graduated. If the term is not on the package, um, odds are it might not be a graduated. And I'm gonna explain why this is so important. I'm gonna show you what a graduated looks like first, and then I'm gonna show you what a non-graduated looks like, and then it'll make sense. So, simple compression sock. This is called graduated. This happens to be a 1520, which means that the most compression is down here by the forefoot. That's a 15, and the least is up here around the calf, which is a 20. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna squeeze the most around the bottom of your foot. There is no compression around the toes, around the heel, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna help push the fluid from the bottom of your foot all the way up, up to your, um, up your calf, and then it ends up working its way through your system and then you using the restroom and getting rid of the fluid. So your sock should look like this. This happens to be a combination of merino wool, cashmere wool, bamboo. So the importance of that is it will actually help promote circulation, but it'll also help promote airflow. It is a natural material. Um, the recommendations for a sock are when you wash them, no dryer sheet and no fabric softener. The reason being because the fabric softener and the dryer sheet actually coats the fabric, therefore they're no longer breathable this sock happens to be antibacterial and antimicrobial. So this is an example of what you should be wearing when traveling. Now, if your sock looks like this, straight up and down, and it says compression, it is not wise to wear it traveling, and I'll explain why. What happens is, when you're sitting on the airplane, the fluid goes down, but because it's tight here, it's not graduated, the fluid goes down, and it is not be able to go back up because of the tightness here. So if your sock looks like this, where it's straight across, straight up and down, this is not an appropriate sock to wear for traveling. So I will show you the difference again, and it's pretty visible you can see how it's tighter and smaller here, larger on the top, and there's a graduation that goes up. So if your doctor says that you need to wear a compression sock for traveling, make sure the wording on it says graduated. So another thing that I'm gonna help to clarify is there's different levels of compression. So the smaller the number, the less the compression. The larger the number, the more the compression. So here at Elias Shoes, we have a couple of compression rates. This one happens to be a 2030. So this is gonna be more than a 1520. So again, there's gonna be a 20 compression here, I mean a 30 compression here and a 20 here. So again, it's more than the other pair that I had shown, but it's, um, 
the, the most compression is on the bottom, the least is on the top. And then um, we also have um, a product by New Balance and I'm going to open one of these. And um, these are diabetic friendly socks, so if you know someone who's a diabetic, um, also the packaging needs to say it's a diabetic friendly sock. Um, and again, this one, you can see, this is a, a man sizing, um, but there's compression here at the forefoot, and you can see how it goes up. There is no compression at the toes. The toes don't need to be compressed. And then there's no compression here at the um, heel bone. Um, one reason why diabetics are recommended to wear a white sock versus a colored sock is um, sometimes as a diabetic, um, they have something called neuropathy. With that being said, sometimes they might step on something, bump their toe, might have a sore, um, and the recommendation to be in a white sock is because you can actually see blood if you have some types of problems going on with your foot as a result of poor circulation, which can happen with a diabetic. So again, diabetics are recommended to wear a white sock so that they can visually see if there's anything going on. Um, another thing that we've had a lot of guests coming in lately and they're wearing a cotton sock. Um, the situation with cotton inside of a shoe, it is not recommended because when cotton is inside of a shoe, the cotton isn't able to air out and dry. You actually need air circulating around cotton in, for, in order for it to dry. So the recommendation of a 100% cotton sock inside of a shoe is not recommended for a diabetic or any persons. Usually a blend, it is what is recommended. So doing a nylon blend, a wool blend, something with bamboo, that's able to wick away the moisture and it helps to evaporate it so it doesn't redistribute back to your foot. Because that's sometimes the cause of athlete's foot and it can also be the cause of blisters. So here at Elias Shoes, we have lots and lots of different, um, a variety of different kinds of socks. We have the longer socks. Uh, we do have shorter diabetic approved socks for people who like a shorter one. In general, we have just a regular, just a regular good old compression sock. It is recommended. I wear them all the time. Um, you know, you're on your feet all day. At the end of the day, your feet get a little tired. Putting on my compression sock makes a huge difference at the end of the day for leg fatigue for my feet um, because it helps promote circulation. So we have a nice little variety. We have fun, fun, fun colors. Uh, we have a lot, a large assortment of different sizes too. So we can accommodate for a smaller foot or for a larger foot. Oh, and again, for all those out there that we're doing pink month, we have a large selection of the pink socks because I know um, for October it's pink month. So if you need your stash of pink, we always have a nice little selection of pink. Um, for those that uh, do have an allergy to wool, we do have a nice little selection of, they're actually vegan, um, but we do have a nice little selection of socks that are not animal product and these also are breathable and it is a compression we have a nice fun little assortment because you know just you may need a compression sock but nobody needs to know that you have to have it on um, and that's my little discussion on compression socks you are more than welcome to come here to Elias Shoes we are located in Murrieta California we are open every day 10 to 6 you're welcome to call us, come check out our website, um, make an appointment to come in and see us. We have a nice little selection here in the store so that we can accommodate for all your foot and healthcare needs.